right, what is going on, everyone? We are playing Pirate's Gold. That's right, Captain Brigands sails again. I know you thought the story, the tales of that old sea dog, Captain Brigands, Mr. Brigands. He worked his way up in titles. End it with my Let's Play of the original Pirates. I don't know why I was on camera for that. I guess that's before I figured. I don't know. I was on camera for that Let's Play, um, which is strange. I don't normally do that. But it ended up being mildly successful as far as uh, the Let's Plays on that game go. So a lot of people know me from that Let's Play. So we're going to do Pirate's Gold now, which is sort of like an updated version of Pirates, the original. Came out a few years later. I don't have a ton of experience with this. Let's start a new career, by which I mean we're going to continue with Captain Brigands. And I think he left off around 1660. I think that was his time period. So don't let the fact that I'm cho don't let the fact that this is an easy fun era distract you or make you think that oh man Brigands got soft. No, it's just you know we're just trying to keep things accurate. That's all. It's consistency. That's what you tune in for, right? The Buccaneer Heroes, a violent, lawless, but profitable era. Spain's wealth is great while her military remains weak. There are many rich towns in the Caribbean. An easy, fun era. I like the sound of that. Alright, so Captain Brigands was English. And I'm not going to change things now. He was good with medicine. It's the lamest of all these, I'll be honest. We could be like a, a fencing guru. We could be great with the ladies. You know what? Our money's gonna... That's gonna be great with, for the ladies. They're gonna appreciate that. Navigation, I got a map. Don't worry about that. And uh, cannons, yeah, those are nice, but there's no substitute for <laughs> being responsible. <laughs> if you don't have your health, you got nothing to semi-quote the Princess Bride. Alright, and... Oh, wow. Journeyman looks the coolest out of all those. Swashbuckler, that's a bit hook right there. Adventure, not feeling the hat. I'd like to go Journeyman for the look, but I'm going to stick with Apprentice. Captain Brigands. Set and sail on the high seas again. I'm excited. I haven't played that game in like five years, so this is going to be fun. Young and poor, you seek your fortune in the new world. I guess he squ uh, squandered that last, every last dime of that on... I don't know, Grog? Let's just say Grog. To purchase passage, you indenture yourself, binding you to work on a sugar plantation for five years as payment. But on the plantation, your debts only grow. Again, Grog. You decide to escape this life of debt slavery. You ask some local seamen about joining the Brethren of the Coast. Aye, mate, they reply. Come along with us. The seamen are really buccaneers. In need of knowledge, they invite you to join their party but the voyage is unprofitable. The men decide new leadership is required. They nominate you to duel the captain for command of the ship. That's awesome. On guard! On guard! All right, already an upgrade right there. You can see it in the graphics. That's us on the right, Captain Brigands. And Brigands always thought the best defense is a great offense. That's why we never let up. When they go high, we go low. And they go low, we go high, and then sometimes, just to mix it up, we go right in oh, the middle. Surrender. Yeah, you do. Oh, I surrender! Victorious, you and your friends put the malcontents ashore. Now it's time to set course for adventure, fame, and fortune along the fabled Spanish main. That's right. We have to start over. We lost our wife and all that, all our family members. We're starting over from scratch. <laughs> That's fine. The sailing master takes you aside here in Port Royal. You'll probably be wanting to see the English governor and visit a tavern. The men will be anxious for plunder and adventure, so we needn't be sightseeing for too long. Yeah, I know, they just mutineered against their last captain. I wonder how long I'm gonna last. The closest Spanish city is Santiago, which lies many days to the north. The closest French city is Petit Gove. I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize, which lies many days to the northeast. Closest Dutch city is Caracho, which lies many days to the southeast. Actually, you know what? I need to get a proper map up. 
just so I can make sure we know where we're going. All right. Fun fact, if you search for pirate gold map, you will get a bunch of maps that I guess children have made and upload it to the internet. So that's not what we want necessarily. All right. This is looking pretty... Oh, no, that's Port Royale. There's another game. All right. Also have to have our password protection, quote-unquote. We have to have that up with the different flags. you got to be able to identify your enemies in this game. All right. This looks good. I got a map. I'm feeling good. Let's set out. We get our first save going here. We can only save in town. Brigands won. Let's see the governor first. My dear Mr. Brigands, we are at war with Spain and Holland. I charge you to seek out and destroy our enemy ships and towns. Kind of looks like Tim Robbins a little bit, playing a governor. All right. The Spanish and the Dutch. I like the sound of that. I always like having two enemies, preferably one as the Spanish, because you got to have towns to attack. And it's nice to have an ally as well, in this case, the French. All right. Let's see how closely I can nail the, the same inflection here as we talk to these unemployed sailors. Look, it's that promising sea dog, Mr. Brigands. A rowdy group of 24 men asks you to join your asks to join your crew. Let's sign them up. I like it. I don't know if we could talk to the bartender back in the day. The tavern on the green, I like that. Tells you that Indians attack, Rakas, pirates. It's all kind of vague. Just generic pirates have been plundering Antigua. That's fine. Ooh, the barmaid. Will you be wanting a drink? Hell yeah, I can't be heading out on my first adventure without a belly full of grog. Did I say one? I meant two. All right, let's head on out. Um, Nothing really to buy right now. There's no reason to visit the bank. Let's save one more time. Just because it's not a Sierra game doesn't mean we can't save often and or early. All right, let's head on out. This is exciting. Hail ho! Well, let's investigate. Probably going to be an English frigate. Yep. Let's ignore them. So I think they said the Span... The Sp Spanish... The Spanish people were more to the east. Really, you can't go that far without running into some Spaniards in this game. I like... Sail ho! Unknown Waters. Might be our first pirate. What do we got here? Yep. All right, this is why we have our pirate password protection. Try saying that three times fast. Um, this is just your... No frills. This guy's he's a fan of the classics. Any guesses? If you guessed Captain Moody Ford, you would be correct. I think. Yeah. Moody Ford. Moody Ford. All right. Doing battle with... First, anybody really. All right, hold on. I don't want to. There we go. Oh yeah, the controls are very nice in this game. I like that you can. Two ships crash together through the smoke. You spot Captain Moody Ford approaching. Ah, <laughs> look at that guy. That's great. All right, I was always a cutlass guy. This does the most damage, but uh, you take a bit more damage. That's why we're in the medicine man. On guard. I see he's a cutlass man himself. And we have considerably more men than Moodyford. What are you doing? Picking fights oh, with me. That was really easy. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll take his ship. Um, Yeah, he'll take the ship. Like he looks completely different in this shot. Every pirate looks exactly the same. Uh, Let's just hold him for ransom. And we'll head back to, um, where were we? I think we were in Port Royale. 
just take everything. We got space in the hold. 720 gold pieces. Nice. We just significantly increased our uh, our hold there. Our pull. So, a very nice feature, which I appreciate in this game. One, that you can turn much more easily with the mouse. And two, you can raise your sails to go faster outside of battle. We're going at full speed right now. Alright, that's kind of annoying. We're clearly close enough. What? Where is this town? Okay. Alright, let's see if this guy's gonna net us anything. 500 gold? Sure. Wait for a better offer. Problem is, the pirates... We have terrible security on our ships under Captain Briggins, and these guys that we capture always jump overboard and get away. So, let's just take the gold. 500 gold. That's not too bad. Um, and we got plenty of men. Does anybody else want to join us? Uh, who's, what's this guy got? Information? I don't know. He looks a little standoffish. I don't like that. That's a lot of money. Just for information back then. Gold pieces? 130? Just for the guy to be like, they have, you know, they have a fountain. It's nice. There's a museum there. No. I'm good. Get out of here. My men would, they would uh, immediately mutineer had I done that deal. Alright, let's just keep going east. I think... I want to hit this kind of little island string over on the far east. The Caribbean Islands. Later known as the Lesser Antilles. Um, so yeah, generally when you run into a pirate near a town, you can uh, sell that pirate. <laughs> sell the pirate. You can, you know, get some sort of bounty for the pirate. Some sort of ransom. Or they'll give you a promotion because they've been terrorizing that town. That's why I made the move of going back and checking in with the governor. Yeah, I could never find the family members when I was a kid. It wasn't until later, I guess when I played it on the, uh, the Let's Play on this channel, that I was able to find at least a couple family members, I feel like. Um, just works into your overall score in the end, which is really what it's all about. Man, I was going to say, we need to run into somebody. Please don't be English. Dutch, I love it. We're going down. Oh, I only have a sloop? That's not good. I don't know why I just assumed I would. Oh, God. Little bastard. Come here. Where's that guy again? I swear we took oh, that God. guy down. Alright, if anybody wants to join us, we are going to be taking them. I guess the rest of our crew is over on the, uh, the damaged pinnace right now. Good thing we didn't shoot that ship. It's very boring, though, if you go many days. And I don't just mean for me and the viewing audience, you good people. I mean for our crew. They get a little antsy if we don't kill someone after, you know, a day or two. Plundering's good too, but you know they like to taste blood. <laughs> Garbage scow. I love a Space Quest V reference. Any kind of Space Quest reference. All right, here is the island chain I was looking for. We have a ton of Dutch towns around here. I pro. There's also a couple English towns, so we might be able to get our first promotion. A merchant, that's almost definitely going to be an English merchant, yeah. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'll get my bearings. Alright, so this is... set. And... Okay. So I think there's gonna be some Dutch towns to the north. Let's sail in and see if the governor is going to be like, Hey, good job taking down that Dutch ship. Oh, yeah. Ensign Briggins. I like the sound of it. Ah, 
Did I get any land? You got land in the old game. I recently had news of your long lost sister, the governor says. The evil Dutchman Ensign Reuter Reuters knows the whereabouts of your sister. Why is he so evil? Where is he? Puerto Principe. Principe. This is just going to be however long of me butchering every single name in this game. I'm trying to look for Porta Principe. Where is this town? Looking at my map. If it's nearby, I'll check it out. Porta. Oh, it's that landlocked thing on Cuba. That's kind of a ways away. The only way to take that town is to go in on foot, and I hate doing that because we always suffer a lot of casualties. Whoa! She's dating an admiral? Yeah, there's no way she's gonna go for us. I gotta tell you, they uh, stepped up the lady animations in this game over the first one. <laughs> with respect to whoever I ended up marrying in that first game, probably that lady with like just that one big block of hair and the cat, I don't know. But uh, proposing marriage, I think she'll tell me to sod off and I think I'll never be able to talk to her again so let's just make conversation it says she's interested in me but like I don't know who my wingman is in this situation but they're just the worst they have they can't read women for squat hey fellas you want to join it's that promising sea dog and St. brigands we're working our way up the ladder you know what I'm saying I'll take these guys on also take I'll take a grog on in my belly. I don't know why I talked to the bartender. Doesn't do anything for me. Alright, we should Uh let's see, how many ships have we got now? We got I don't we don't need a pinnace. Let's sell the pinnace. There's no point. Very little room in the uh in the cargo hole on that ship. Let's see if the merchant has anything we want to buy or sell. Let's see. He's got a lot of money. England's doing pretty good right now, as you can see. I don't have anything except food, unfortunately. I got a little bit of sugar. Sell the sugar off. Don't know what that sound effect's about. All right. Men don't care about sugar or goods. They just want money and food. In that order. And blood. Blood, money, food. All right. Um, you know what? Land ho! Oh, here is Antigua. There's no point in coming here. Um, a lot of booty. Land ho! Damn, England's just dominating this area. Land ho! Jeez, Saint Kitts, two forts. That's pretty good. We got more towns up here. One of these is bound to be Dutch. Here we go. All right, we just saved, so we'll try attacking this. Two forts, that's kind of a push at this point in our, this early point in our career. We'll give it a go. Um, yeah, let's try it. Take one of our sleeps. This may be a terrible idea. Thankfully, we have the save. So we can raise our sails. Oh God, the wind. It's all about the wind. They're not very accurate until we get a little bit closer. I'm a little concerned at how well they're... Oh, God. Oh, how close they're getting. Oh, we hit them. That was a miracle. And just the rate at which they're firing at us. Apparently our cannons go a bit for... Okay, I spoke too soon. I could raise the sails. Oh, God. Ah, sail damage. Oh, no. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize to the Dutch. First time on this channel I've had to do that. Ah. Oh, my God. I don't know, maybe... Let's, let's raise those sails. You don't always get fa Okay. Ooh, that was a gimme. Are they going to lead me at some point? Oh, no! 
Let's see if we can kind of whittle their cannons down. We only have four cannons is the problem. Oh God, we're leaking. Oh no. Run, run away. That was terrible. That's gonna piss the men off something fierce. That's embarrassing. Maybe this one. It's tiny little. What? Sail Dutch waters. Sloop. Dutch. All right. I say we take their own ship, and then we sneakily ride their colors in and take them by surprise. Can't do that in this game. I don't know why I'm saying it, but it's a good idea. Let's take the non-damage, non-sinking ship, and let's not uh, let's not fire at them because we're going to need their ship when we attack that town. Oh God! So sad. Look, what do we have? Like ten men on this ship, at least. Ensign Briggins is hiring, by the way. Just, uh... Send your, uh, CVs to Port Royale. Yes! We need the people, we need the crew, we need everything. Take anything you can give us. Crew is too small, that sucks. Land ho! Alright, one fort, St. Martin. Let's try it. With the brand new sloop. We have two cannons, we have nine men. We got good wind though. That's not good. Oh god. They're really, I don't know why, they keep thinking I'm gonna go left. I don't know if it's because of the wind. I'm waiting for them to correct that. That sucks. There we go. All right. We're going to need to take down this guy fast if we're going to have any chance. Oh, God. oh, no. Eight men versus, like, what is that? I can't. I don't know those numbers. Come <laughs> on, brigands. <laughs> brigands. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's just me if I get stabbed again. Man, the legend just continues to grow. We literally took down a town single-handedly. <laughs> I thought he had lost a step there. Problem is, I'm gonna have to give up all my ships now, probably, and we're gonna be stranded here. How'd they hear about me? I just started my adventures. All right, so hold on. Let's get rid of the goods, and let's take the cannons. Since we had none of those. And then, uh, take the sugar. Sugar is generally worth more. Although I'm prepared to just have to abandon. Oh, jeez. This is the darkest moment in every pirate's life. I don't know what that sound effect's about. Alright. I can't believe we survived that. We need to limp back to St. Kitts, fix our ship up, get our promotion, because, my God, we earned it after all that. Land ho! Whew. First things first, fix my ship. Please. All right. And I don't have anything we can sell, really. That guy's rolling in it. Tell me, the English are thriving. Dear Ensign Brigands, that's right. Did you hear about me just taking down, uh, what was that? St. Martin or something? I don't know. They were Dutch. I know that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's harder to get, uh, get the promotions in this one. I feel like just from my anecdote alone of just being like, hey, you know, I just took down a Dutch city on my own. The rest of my crew got killed, but I still managed to make them surrender. And she'd be like, Admiral Day who? She's like, come on, let's go to the back room. But right now, let's just make conversation. All right, we need men very badly after that. 40 men, sign them up. Give me some grog. Let's hit the seas once again. Let's save, too. Cannot believe we survived that. All right. 
We need a couple ships. Let's let's head up to Dutch waters. Maybe take down a Dutch ship or two. Maybe a pirate if we're lucky. Just kind of sail around and off their shores here until somebody bites. Cause we can't be plundering anything with a single sloop. It's not a good look. Propose marriage to the barmaid. <laughs> That is a, uh, man. Sail ho! Not saying she's not fetching, but, uh, let's investigate. French! Damn French. I think they did say we were allies with the French. I don't know that, like, they'll care that much. My English, uh, I don't know. Superiors isn't the right word, because Captain Briggins, or, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Ensign Briggins flies under his own flag, but uh, I don't think it'll do anything for me. Unless a war breaks out between England and France. As, as it does sometimes. Come on. Do they not have any ships? Are they scurred? They see me Land just home. going around in circles outside. If I go... South of that island chain, we might run into some one other than the English. Then, if you go a bit west, you're getting into a really nice string of Spanish cities. We're just not quite ready for with the amount of men we have right now. I guess we can try to recruit some more. Land ho! Guadalupe, they should be down with me. Let's see what how they think about me. A war with Spain. Uh, I guess we haven't killed any Spanish folks yet, have we? I'll buy the letter, though. That gets us in the door. That's nice. It's like two birds with one stone, you know, when you take down a Spanish ship now, or a town. You just need to remember to check in with both governors now, the English and the French, to get double the rewards. Let's get some French sailors on our crew. Get a nice, diverse crew, except for the fact that they all look exactly the same every time. No, you're that same guy. No, I don't want any information. Ridiculous. All right, let's head south. Don't think I've forgotten about St. Eustatius or whatever. Got a bone to pick with them still. Merchantmen. Dutch colors. Oh, a merchantman would be lovely. Plenty of space in the oh hold. I like it when you only have one ship, though, because your entire crew is all squished onto it. Which makes these battles quite a bit easier. Oh, I, surrender. Oh, I surrender. I will take your merchantman and everything on it. Now get out of my sight. Oh, three sailors want to join our crew? Sure. What the rest do? Just... Drown? I joined. I certainly joined my crew before, uh. And they're not gonna care that I just took down. I guess we can recruit some more folks. Ooh, a map seller. Here we go. Old treasure map for 500 gold pieces. Yeah, in the interest of, uh. Making this let's play a bit more interesting, let's buy the map. Pirate treasure map. Hmm, that could be a lot of places. My gut instinct is that it might be on the southern land mass. It's sort of like southwest of where we are right now. It could also be part of like Cuba or Hispaniola. Oh, it, it says somewhere near Gran Granada. Okay, so let's see. Gran Granada. Where? Oh, no. Wait, well, okay. Mm. Uh, kind of hard to say. I think it might be just north of Gran Granada, Honduras, sort of on the north. It's nowhere near where we are right now. Don't get excited, people. But yeah, I'll take these French guys. <laughs> Let's get back in the ship, everybody. Sail ho! 
Uh, French waters, probably a French ship. I hate wasting time on that. I think that does kind of like piss off our crew a little bit when we take that extra step to uh, check their colors. War galleon. Usually that is the mark of a Spanish ship. The odd pirate as well. I love, love me a war galleon. Merchantman or sloop? Let's just try to get in there fast. Come on. Come on. That's not cool. There we go. That could have been a lot worse. On guard. Oh my god, they have 200 men. Holy shnikes. Yeah. Stab that knee. Come on, brigands. Oh, I wow, good thing this guy's such a coward. <laughs> he didn't look down and look at the uh, disparity in the uh, the man count. Yes, we have a war galleon. That'll be very nice for taking out some of these towns. And look at all that space we have in the hold. 39 sailors. We're getting up there. Man. All right, what, what is this town? Sail -ho! That's Barbados over there. Cargo. I feel like those are generally Dutch. Yep. We're racking them up now all of a sudden. All right, we're going to turn this little cargo ship into Swiss cheese. <laughs> They struck their colors after one shot. Oh, the war galleon just changes the complexion of uh, any pirate, any pirate's career. Take it all. Two sailors. They're like, damn. You killed everyone we've ever known with one shot. So yeah, we're joining you. Baron Holocroft. He's chasing us. A baron wants to tangle. All right, bet he didn't know we have a war galleon. Look at his little ship. He's like a gnat. Come here. Strike your colors. Holy king, there you go. Got another prisoner. Come with us. All right, we are way overdue. I don't know who Barbados is owned by. My god, this is like rush hour right here. I don't know. A frigate. All right. Actually, a little grateful for that. We needed a break. <laughs> All right. So we've taken down at least one or two Spanish ships here. War galleon. They should give me something for this. Yes. Ensign with two different nations. Maybe don't smile, though. That's a little creepy. The evil Spaniard Ensign Sanchez knows about my sister, Rio de la Hacha. Rio de la... All right, so that is in New Granada, not to be confused with Old Granada. That's not too far from here. He might be gone by the time we get here, and I don't know if I want to go all the way out of my way just to go to him. All these French uh, governors have... The same. I mean, she's very attractive. They're all into their admirals, too. Wait, Admiral Holcroft? Isn't that the guy? Is that not the... Hold on. Uh, yeah, did, did we not just capture a Holcroft? I think he was a baron at the time. I think I may have... I think your uh, fiancé might be in my hold right now <laughs> I feel like that gets us some bonus points let's just make conversation um let's see we have a lot of ships right now definitely don't need that pinnace I don't mind having like the smaller sloop decisions decisions let's just sell that let's fix our sloop in case we want something quick and that's not a bad price to fix our ships too all right, let's sell off. <laughs> What's her Instagram? All right, let's sell off a good bit of our food. Not too much. Price isn't even that good on most of the stuff. Sugar, that's not a bad price. Sometimes you will go into town though and you'll be getting a price of like 80 or 90. Definitely unload if you ever see that. All right, we got plenty of space in the hold, plenty of gold. The men should be happy. 
I don't know that we need to take on any more men right now. Let's let's see what we got. I've been kind of recruiting everybody blindly. Let us see. It's a nice cabin, by the way. Party status. 95 men. I thought we had more. All right. We should definitely take on some more men. And the crew is pleased. So they're not happy. They're pleased. It's one step above. Just kind of meh. It's not great. We got plenty of food, though. That's good. Um, who do we got? Baron Holcroft. Yeah, maybe they're related. <laughs> One guy went into politics. The other became a pirate. I can relate to that. It's my personal status. Single, ladies. Age 25, fine health. Well-known apprentice. No land. That's the thing. So sometimes you want to hold off after you've done... You know, some good deeds killed some Spaniards <laughs> uh, for the uh, the English governor. You want to make sure you have a lot of accomplishments under your belt before you go back because you always get that next promotion. But the more good things you've done since he last saw you, the more land you will get with that promotion. So we might want to hold off before we get that next promotion. So I think we're ready to take our tour down of the south and hit some Spanish towns. And uh, let's sign up whoever wants to join us at this point. 28 men, welcome aboard. Let's head on out. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.